sit with this thing, Lee. Well, I'm sitting it's side on. I'm just going side on because it's fair. I mean, hip, put, look, right, V, probably need the strap a bit lower to look really, Much really lower, badass. Man. Look at this. Kind of needs this to just play terrible. like this. You don't, I don't know. Are you? I think you need neck up here. No, dude, this is, this is where it needs to be. It does, but it does need to be lower. Look, but for City Downy demos, we're either going classical guitar styly like look, this, look, look, this is... or we're going Side saddle like this. There, at least. There. Hey. Yeah, that, you gotta at go, least you got to go low. You gotta at go least. Low. And uh, well, anyway, do it up again. We are continuing <sighs> our series of what's new at Gibson videos. Yeah. Um, so this is part of this new sort of original and modern collection from Gibson, replacing everything that in the past you might have known as a 2018 model or a 2019 model. So the whole year thing is gone. It's, it's, just, it's just the thing. It's, it's just it's just the thing. So we've got uh, V's and Explorers from the original series. Dun, dun. Yeah. And we have V's and Explorers from the modern series. Dun, dun. Yes. Uh, these are called the, the B2. B for Bertie. And where is the B1, Lee? Ah, it's I'm under sure. stairs. It's running it under stairs. Yeah, I Anyone don't. who knows that jokes will have kids, children. Tell us about uh, your guitar. Give us features. How does it feel? Um, Tones? You know, it's does a, it make you feel like a real man? It makes me feel like a a man, but uh, a, a woman, because I don't know, man. There's loads of man going on. It's not easy to sit with. Um, I used to it was have never a, designed for that. I don't think. I don't think it was. It was designed to, for rocking. Yes. Uh, but flying V, you know, Jimmy What's, had one, so it's just cool. Instant approval. Instant approval, and uh, it is a mahogany body. It is a rosewood neck, uh, and it's got a burst bugger two and three on in Ooh. the, which is they do burst bugger one and two, which the fifty, the new fifty uh, fifties yes series has got, which is a lower output. So one, two, three, the higher yeah, the number. Yeah, I think the, apparently the way it's supposed to go. <laughs> so burst bucket two would be kind of like PAF. Yeah. And then burst bucket one would be like an underwound PAF, and burst bucket three would be an overwound PAF. So. If you go for the 50s standard Les Paul, you're going to get a kind of a creamy sort of 
more softer output sounding guitar. If you go for something like the V, you're going to get uh, rocking good. If you go for the v. dirty tones, dirty tones from the V. So it's got Grover uh, tuners on it there. Just a, a nice nitro lacquer on it. Uh, the Na Nashville bridge here, two tones, uh, two, two volumes and a tone, so you can blend in, which is quite clever. Three-way selector switch, and the, probably the most awkward guitar in the entire universe to sit with. I think it, but it looks cool. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but actually we were doing the Steinberger uh, guitars. You were yesterday, and actually that's kind of that. It's almost if you, if you cut true. this bit off here, you've got an instant Steinberger. I wonder if you? that's where just they just cut this bit, cut the head off, <laughs> cut round here. Obviously, all the strings would fall off, and it would be useless. But it but would no, if look you, a bit like a Steinberger guitar. What if you cut it here? Guitar. What if you just cut it here? I wonder, and move that up a bit. You think of that? Or what? I wonder if you'd have a balance issue. So anyway, we're not soul. here to cut guitars so in get, half. <laughs> Give us some do. tones from yeah. your burst bucking bronco pickups. So we're trying to keep the uh, setups the same yes. as last time. So I'm still in the V140, 140D with the 2x12 cab. Same microphone, same everything. This is the clean signal straight in uh, to the amp on the neck pickup, mm -hmm. burst bucker 2. That's got and some I'm, power. That's running pretty clean. My back is going when sitting this guitar. It's got some power. Um, it's got some power. And that's, and that's the uh, Burst Bucket 2, isn't that's it? We're not the, even on the 3 We're yet. not even on the 3 yet. So, oh, so that will work on both. Sir. So it worked, it worked really well with that from the beginning. When you yeah. dig into it, yeah. it, it gets, it, it lifts. You're trying to be, uh, is it Albert, Albert King? King, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we should do a sound like Albert King. That'd be great. <laughs> exactly. Not easy. Uh, but it's not easy at all. You think it's easy, but mm. oh, it's just some blues. Hey? Blah, blah, blah. It's like it's not easy at all. Uh, middle position, both on full. Honky. Yes. Uh, back. Oh, we just blend a bit. And blend them in and out. Which is, oh, that's almost like a... When I bend, when I uh, take that down a bit. I think it's very quacky. It's great, That's man. nice, man. Okay, back, uh, pick up, first box I bet three. this is dirty. some Dane on absolutely every day of the week that's nice but right, man it's awkward to sit with <laughs> I feel like my whole back is twisting into some kind of I, I, I need know. to have a it, you literally do need to just that in fact probably <laughs> like this I had to go it's, under your leg baby all bit. the time <laughs> And, and actually that slightly sort of, go for the inside of the thigh stretch. I mean, let's be honest with you, is there a more manly pose in rock than this one? Yes, on your knees. There probably is, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, in, in the uh, room afterward. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, how does the it feel? Room. I mean, we've talked about it being it's a little a slim awkward taper. to sit with, but how's the actual the, neck the feel? Neck feels because you've got no binding either, so does it feel different to a you know Les Paul got, kind of vibe? Yeah, it's it's very similar to slim taper neck, so it feels it feels like the um, those sixties Les Paul kind yeah. of fit. yeah. The neck feels like that. Um, lacquered on the back of the neck, yours, right? Yeah, yeah. lacquered on the back of the neck. And that almost rhymes. That could be a rap. Lacquered on it? the back of the neck. Back on the back of the neck. Back on the back of the neck. Yeah, that could be that. Uh, front pick up with a bit of a uh, gains. It's really awkward it's, to sit. I with, know man. it's. It helps 
didn't name back. so good, man. <laughs> It's brilliant. I used to have one. Did you? Uh, you used didn't. To have a black one. You used to have didn't. A, I did. And guess what band I played it with? Aqua. Westlife. Westlife. <laughs> I was just about to say. <laughs> I actually, I'm beca- you know, I've got a little. For me, there's like, there's guitars for playing at home and in the studio and stuff like that. Where, you know, you are, you, it does need to be a very functional guitar. You got to feel comfortable yeah. sitting down, standing up. Got to get all the tones from it. And then there's just the guitar to gig with yeah where and in fairness it's not like like for not complicated gigging just like yeah. you know it was one song rhythm. one it's song with a wireless system brilliant. in and then just running around i think we used it in croke park did you is use the right it place is it easier because the, the when you have to stand up for the key change is it just an easier guitar to, <laughs> to actually <laughs> <laughs> the key chains is like built in cap <laughs> all the way up <laughs> Anyway, anyway, enough that's about cool, key chains because who needs a key change? Uh, so the B two is the slightly more affordable version, as t- you can see. We we I'm still have a, a nitro finish, but it's one of those super thin lacquers where you can kind of see a bit of the grain through. And as you can even see by my sweaty pores here, um, this this kind of finish soaks up your DNA uh, in a way that not so easy just to, to rub off. So the, these will look a bit more lived in a bit more quickly. So if you get that one, which has got serial number. Yeah, let's tell them the serial number. If you physically want to own some of my man sweat, <laughs> you can clone the captain. 103090148. Clone um, a cap. Clone a cap. Same materials though. So it's mahogany body, mahogany neck, uh, rosewood board, same tuners, just black hardware, so, same everything basically. Yeah. Other than we're now into the dirty fingers uh, pickups, which <laughs> are about the hottest pickups that I think Gibson make. Dirty fingers, ceramic magnets, kind of crazy. I've just got tone and volume for the whole thing. Three way <sighs> switch, that's it. Uh, I'll show you what mine sounds like. <laughs> like Pete, I'm using the same amp that I've used in all the Gibson videos, which is a Fender bass breaker. It's, it's pushing Fat. that fender amplifier big. Oh, I can't. I'm going to go again. A little, little bit of volume. I, I'm sure there was. It's probably not this song, but I can't remember which one it was. It was all with all the time. <laughs> You know that's going to be in a massive no, Marshall. American movie. Woman was the one with all the tone rolled off, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. Uh, American Woman. Anyway, but that anyways, was, wrong, but that that was that big gainy tone rolled off. Blah, it's, blah, almost, blah. it's almost like woman tone, um, isn't it? It's almost... I'm using, for this particular demonstration, a full tone plimsoll to go. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
just brings out <laughs> the inner rock demon in me that uh, doesn't often come out. But uh, I see, whilst in the middle of that, while I wasn't paying attention, you have uh, changed guitar to Mr. a much Pete, more comfortable to the shape. Christopher Columbus signature model. You're not even going to get... Oh, he was just a great explorer. So I just thought I'd use that. <laughs> yes, so I have changed over to the uh, Explorer, uh, the um, Colombo signature. Not the Colombo with the cigar, yeah. the Christopher Colombo. And again, the same, the same uh, specs as the Flying V. I, was ha I had a minute ago, apart from it has got some mini Grover tuners instead ah. of there. On the so basically what we're saying is, apart from a slightly different shaped lump of wood, these are the same as the Vs, And so, right? so are these, yeah. They are slightly more expensive, these ones, as the B2s. Are they? Uh, this is 1399. Oh, uh, sorry, I see what you mean. So oh, the, yeah, no, so these the are the same price. Original yeah. series are both 1399. Same price, yes. And the B2 modern uh, series 11 are 1149. Yeah. With... Uh, with if, the soft, if, with if the you if you push the boat out and go for one of the original series, so yep. the, the sort of the browny coloured ones, you get beautiful hard case. Yeah. This one here, uh, this one actually isn't a guitar case. This comes with a huge scientific glass beaker <laughs> inside that you sort of <laughs> fill up with all sorts of potions. And uh, um, are you gonna look at the size of the Explorer you get, you get, case? You get, you get a, it's a big spatula for when you're Massive, doing pancakes, like uh, for barbecue set. Yeah. In there. This is the soft case that they they come yeah. with. And they, yeah. So if you go for one of the B2 guitars, you get the. But you've got to see the size of the. Basically, if you're, yeah, it's, I can't it's, even get. I want to get that up. It's thirteen hundred and ninety-nine pound for the guitar, and then about forty grand for the estate car that you need to uh, put it in. Yeah, it's huge. Oh! It'll keep you fit, won't it? Oh. Um, uh, <laughs> same again. You have got three knobs on that, two knobs on this. Dirty fingers here. Burst bucket two and three tuna, here. So tuna these over here. realistically are aren't exactly the sound same. Any but do they these? sound any different? Do you I think bet. So? No. Let's have a I listen. wouldn't have thought so. Same thing again, clean tone first. Who is, sorry to interrupt there, That's but fine. Who, who are the famous Explorer um, players? I want to say yeah. James Hetfield, but yeah. I mean, he's sort of like, he's moved on, hasn't he, from... Uh, Gibson. Yeah, but he he's kind of, it's kind of, he's got a different shape, girlfriend isn't it? now. Yeah. yeah, she looks the same. She's yeah, just a younger same. model. She's just a, uh, um, yeah. Ah. Who else? Lizzie Hale? She's got yes, a cool looking she's explorer. Got a, yeah, she's got a. Uh, Is there any explorer? old school, like. Uh, Bluesy guys? Uh, uh, ZZ Top, Reverend Billy Gibbons. Yeah, uh, 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 The Edge played, didn't he? He did. Yeah. Or does? He does. I think he does. I bet there's it? loads. I bet there's millions we've forgotten. So yeah. there we go. Knock yourself out in the comments section. All the cool people who've played Explorers. I, I'm going to say, ergonomically, this is massively more comfortable to play than the V <gasps> sitting down. Yeah. And secondly, I've just realised that I want my Switch where yours is. I think. I think I... Or do I? Yeah, I think I do. I think I want it over here. You don't think you'd knock that while you were playing, do you? It is miles away, isn't it? Yeah, you've, you'll be going, you're, you're you'll be going, going yeah, like you're that, going you know. You yeah, might I don't, even knock I that I don't know, actually. Where do I... I think I like it here. But anyway. You can have a remote one on the floor. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the middle position. Do the middle position. <laughs> it's nice. Great. It sounds a little bit different than the V for some reason. I... I Let's try to go uh, roll that volume. So you still got a crack. There's still I, that kind of cracking. I think thing every going guitar on. sounds like a little bit different, but I don't. I, there shouldn't be a like a mechanical reason, reason why, why these two no, guitars sound no. that different. And that's why we're gonna go on them. Yeah. That's it's almost hotter. like it's hotter, isn't it? But Is it, it could be it's just nearer, maybe? closer. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Let's put some Dane on. Do it. There. 
It's almost f more fuss in the, in the tone. It's a rock machine. Immense. It's I mean, a rock I, machine. I won't bother like going over the board yeah, on the tones on this because it's smell it's, your it's, dirty it's, fingers. Yeah. Neck pick up. As we know, everybody who's got a satin finished uh, uh, Explorer guitar plays yeah. a D chord. Sorry, <laughs> what, where, where are we again? I do apologise. I'm, I'm just thinking here, I need a bit of a higher gain pedal on my board. You do. I need a higher gain pedal. I, have... I mean, I've got plimsolls, I've got four gain pedals on here, so I can go quite a lot of gain, like this. Add in a... Yeah, I do, I, <laughs> max gain I have is, is, is probably this. It's not too bad, actually. It's not too bad. And then I've got, I've got something that everybody should have on their board. And What's that? Was.
<laughs> I couldn't not do uh, finish that video without putting a little bit of that in there, could no. I? Uh, yeah, that fit as well. That was a mashup. Well, that's you what I was thinking. I was thinking it's, it's in E, and if I play it slowly, it should fit. <laughs> and it <laughs> <won't> fit. <laughs> so, what's your favourite then, Pete? Would you, if you had the choice, would you, uh, would you V or explore? You'd explore. Mm. This yeah, one. do you know what? This one any day because because I can I can sit down with it. I know. If and, I, and, and you rock out with this, you I look cool when you play I this thing. I didn't feel. I didn't feel as manly with the Explorer as I felt with the V. So I think. But well, that's because I, I would, feel manly uh, all the time. <laughs> is that? I think I would. I mean, that is a badass looking guitar, way. isn't it? I mean, they look, both look cool. Yeah. I like the headstock, I think, on the Explorer a lot. What is the red one that you did with the with this with the circle the thing in the middle? Of, um, uh, there's a signature something hook. Yeah. Jason hook. Yeah, that, and there's another one as well with the. The, the Lizzie Hale is the coolest yeah, Explorer the white signature. One. White, white one with the gold. White, you can't beat white with gold. It's wicked. That's yes. an Epiphone. But actually, there might be. A, there's probably a Gibson one as well. But the the one that's just been is launched that? is the Epiphone. Yeah. One. So check them out. Anyway, look. Links in the description below. Uh, Hit the you know the notification we're loving buttons the new and Gibson thing. Yeah. It's just like they make great guitars. Yeah. They're iconic. They're badass. They're awesome. And I guarantee you will look cooler playing one of those than almost any other guitar well, band there is. But one thing, Lee, before we say goodbye, what is the one thing that's missing? I just feel like when I put my guitar to bed, bring back the blanket. It needs Hashtag the blanket in that case. Needs the blanket. blanket. Right. Anyway, uh, enjoy. Uh, as I said, this sort of second half of the series of Gibson videos has got the Vs and the Explorers and the SGs and the Firebirds in it and everything. So enjoy that. If you're a Les Paul fan, check back onto the Anderson's channel. Go back a little time uh, and- <laughs> As you play this, <laughs> and you do it this way around. a left-handed one. No, let's um, just do it this way around. Sure. That's cool, The reverse man. Explorer. Whoop. That's gotta be a thing, surely. Anyway, yes, enjoy. Uh, and <laughs> anyway, and if you wanna know details, specs, prices, anything like that, uh, dive on down into the description, follow the links to our website, or better still, come and see us in the store. Yeah, try them out for yourself. Yes. They are awesome. Au revoir. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor's gone. Right, bye. Bye. I don't even, I missed that. What even was it? I went like this. <laughs> <laughs> what serial number is that one? Then you literally, right. you can get lit. Oh. <laughs>